A medical advisor to the National Task Force against COVID-19 is not recommending the closure of our borders over monkeypox fears. For the details, JC Cosico is reporting to us live from Mandaluyong City. JC, tell us more about the statement of Dr. Ted Herbosa. And she said that monkeypox is no longer a mystery illness, saying it was discovered way back in the 50s. It's a treatment, he said, is already known and vaccines may be created. He adds that uh, it's not more transmissible like COVID-19 and closing the country's borders would mean so much for our tourism and the country's economy. Angela. Yes, JC, will there be any slight adjustments, at least with the health protocols, due to monkeypox? And to be clear, there are no uh, cases yet of monkeypox in the Philippines. But uh, Herabosa said that our current protocols, like the wearing of face masks and uh, physical distancing, will be effective to avoid the monkeypox. Angela. And uh, I believe Okta Research has seen an uptick in COVID-19 cases recently. And I was wondering to what factors can the government attribute to this increase? You know what, Angela? Experts have been expecting an increase in cases following the election season and the local transmission of the Omicron sub-variant. But uh, Herabosa said that there is no need to be alarmed yet, saying what's important is case detection and isolation to avoid further surges. Angela. Yes, JC, the government has started rolling out second COVID-19 boosters for seniors and health workers. Do you have any updates on this? Angela Herbosa said that the country has enough supply of COVID-19 shots to be used as fourth doses. Now, Herbosa added that the rollout of the second booster will help the government achieve its 77 million target vaccination before the end of President Duterte's administration. Now, Herbosa will also recommend the second booster of vaccination among overseas Filipinos, saying many have been requesting for it. Angela. But how about the special vaccination in some areas? Angela, special inoculation is ongoing in areas with low vaccination rates, just like in Marawi and Barm. Now, Herbosa said that the vaccination teams are going down to barangays to make jabs within reach for the unvaccinated. Angela. And JC, as you may know, President Duterte's term will end in June. Will there be any turnover of plans when it comes to, you know, uh, the pandemic and the uh, economic recovery? Yes, Angela Herbosa said that they will provide the next administration with their uh, COVID-19 economic recovery uh, plans, which she says that uh, were praised and were effective to really control the pandemic. Now, they will also share economic recovery plans to the next administration. Angela. All right. Thank you so much. That was JC Cosico reporting live from Mandaluyong City.